So I was tooling around with No Man's Sky, and the flight seems kind of rudimentary, so it's nothing special, but it's a little more fun with a joystick and a throttle and stuff. You get immersed in it, and then uh, you can just use the mouse and the keyboard when you're running around. Uh, the only way I could figure out how to do it was with this uh, joy to key thing because there doesn't seem to be like analog support for PC like an analog stick and you basically gotta emulate a mouse to that joystick and it's a real pain in the balls and I tried a million different settings and with this joy to key thing it's at like joytokey.net. I don't know, just Google it. It's not that hard to find. And uh, once you get inside there and it sees your joystick or whatever, you know, it'll see it. And uh, once you execute something, it'll show you what button you're hitting. So. You know, you can set it up how you want. But uh, as far as the stick goes, I tried everything, and it's really cumbersome. But there's a setting in there, if you double click on the top four, that's the up, down, left, right on the stick. If you click on it, there's a bunch of stuff at the top. And that's how you assign your buttons. But if you go over to mouse two, there's a thing called spring mode. And that essentially turns, it pushes the mouse and then as soon as you let go, it basically bounces back. And it kind of stinks, but it works a little bit. So you really got to set it to one. I mean, I tried <laughs> cranking it and it's a nightmare. So if you set it to just one, on all of them like basically for left you're gonna move this one left one now when you go to right you're gonna move it to the right one now when you go to the up one you're gonna go up one etc etc on down you go down one so that's pretty much it um, you know then I set the throttle forwards W to gas her up pulling it back S to gas her down I got like change weapons and boost and uh, what's that thing called the uh, the plasma drive and then the warp drives like the I don't know I put it up there I mean all that stuff you can set however you want you know triggers button one to shoot the weapons whatever um, I made it so barrel rolls twisting the throttle left and right which is kind of cool because you just twist it and then crank it back and you can be on your way. Um, yeah, so, let's see it. I don't know how well it'll work with different flight sticks, but as you can see, that's that Thrustmaster deal, you know. But I put everything I need right on there, you know, get out of the ship, land, get your E on there, get your M, get your scan, you know, get your toggle weapons, get your boost, get your two warps. So, I mean, everything you could possibly need is on there, right? First, I use the mouse to get in. Where the heck did my ship go? There she is. As you can see, I'm using the mouse right now to move around. I'm here. Okay, so I'm in the ship. One hand on the phone, one hand on the... Oh, 
let's go shoot some asteroids. That's my daughter's planet right there. There's some asteroids. Oh, we don't need the photon cannon. So, I mean, it's pretty precise when you put it on the one. You know, you put it anywhere else and you're going to have trouble. It's going to be bouncing all over the place. The spring mode is the way to go, you know. Like I said, I set twist to the rudder. So, I mean, you know, that planet's right behind me. You know, barrel roll, crank it back. There she is. It's, uh... It's doable, that's for sure. So, yeah. Put some comments in if you got any questions. If I'm up, I'll reply. But spring mode, put it to one. Happy hunting, fellas.